Hello, hello. I'm just gonna see who's live and who is jumping on with us today while I just get myself sorted for this week's episodes. How are you? I hope you're really good. I've been talking a lot. So first off, if we haven't met yet, I'm Cara and I'm the founder of the Sensitive Superstars Movement. And I support sensitive women, female change makers, spiritual rebels to unleash their sensitivity as their superpower. And what that means is I support them to really bring all of them into the world so that they can show up and they can have the impact that they want to have while they also have the best relationships, the best um, experiences, the best health, the best well-being. And this week, if you are part of the group, if you're part of the Sense of Superstar movement, I've been sharing a practice, a five minute part practice every day, um, all about being a well-being warrior. And what I share about is having an imperfect practice, which means I talk about doing something every day even if that's five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, whatever you can find in the day so that you can connect to yourself, whether you're doing a breathing technique for five minutes or you've got the opportunity to put a, a guided meditation on for 15 minutes or you, you, know, you take some time that day dedicated for your self care so you go and do something that, that, that really lights you up and fills you up. Basically what I'm saying is it doesn't have to be difficult and you don't have to wait for this huge window of time to happen for you to connect with yourself, to feel really good, to feel really present. And I was inspired by by what's been going on this week and by kind of really thinking and feeling into it, what it means for me, like how much better I feel now that I have this imperfect practice so that I have really worked with my inner perfectionist to kind of let go of this idea of waiting for this idyllic, you know, two hours that happen when I can get up before everybody else in the morning and do this amazing practice. Or, you know, waiting for, wait, waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen is just, it kills so much potential. And when you get something in action, when you start putting the wheels in motion and you're, you're showing up for yourself, you notice you get more time, you have more energy, you feel really good about yourself. So I'm really passionate that that everyone can feel this, like everyone can experience this. So I was thinking about it this morning and I was thinking, because I actually saw a picture, I saw a video of someone um, doing, uh, doing the yoga practice and they, they had an incredible um, stomach, like their abs were amazing. And I just had that moment of going, oh, I wish that was me. And it pulled me back to you know being in my te my teens when I had really you know oh, really chronically shit and um, body image issues and it kind of put me back to that time and I and you know I'm at a place now where I I'm always doing the work that I need to be doing I'm, I'm always able to kind of have yeah, have those, I have those tools and techniques to be able to bring me back into the presence so I can say, well, actually, you know, but it was really interesting because I was like, well, you know, I'm human and I still feel like this. And, you know, I see, you know, I'm on Instagram. I love visuals. I'm a very visual person. And I was sharing in this post that visuals for me really work because they inspire me because that's because that's what I really do really connect with with visual. And I'm sure it's the same for you, you know, there will be things that you see that are like, oh, wow, that really makes me want to do it. But on the wrong day, in a moment when you're, you know, when you're on day, you know, 28 or, you know, something has been going on for you, it could trigger you and it might, you might move into that comparison place. And I was, so I was writing this post and I was thinking about it. And I'm very clear, you know, when I work with groups, um, for example, my Sensitive Sisterhood, which is my group coaching program, when I do retreats, I'm very clear that it's not about what anybody else tells you your practice should be like or your yoga should be like. It's about how you feel doing it. So it, having an imperfect practice is something that works for you, but something that that is really 
that is your goals, that is what feels good for you and what feels good in your body. It's not about, you know, I've seen this yoga pose done, I've seen this amazing headstand and I am not complete until I have also done that headstand. You can totally transfer this to any area of your life, right? It's not, a, it's about how do I wanna feel you know, if I'm doing yoga, how do I want to feel if I'm running? How do I want to feel if I'm, you know, going swimming, you know, every, you know, every other day, whatever it is for you. Like an imperfect practice doesn't have to be yoga. It can be, you know, I talk about it from a yoga point of view because that's, I know that's what works for me. Well, whatever connects you to yourself, you know, what makes you feel really good in yourself. So I'm very clear when I run my sisterhood group calls, when I do my coaching, when I run retreats, that it's not about having an unrealistic goal. It's not about aspiring to be anybody else. It's about feeling how you want to feel. So when I talk about yoga bots, this is this idea that you're robotically doing something because you're chasing an ideal that that is outside of yourself. Like, Having goals is brilliant. Wanting to feel good in your body and for your body to work for you is a brilliant goal to have, but it has to come from a place of love for yourself. So a yoga bot is like, I'm gonna mechanically go through my practice, I'm gonna mechanically do this run because I want something to validate myself. I want something outside of myself to tell me that I'm, that I'm doing this right. Morning Pam, morning Jeanette. Morning, just been there. So if you're with me, say, hey, this is really great because um, I just get on a roll and then I see people have popped up. So yeah, do let me know if you're with me live or on replay. Let me know what resonates with you because this is, this is so important that you find what works for you. So being a yoga bot means you are going through things quite mechanically. You are waiting for somebody else or something else to validate you or make you feel good when actually, it is genuinely about being in that moment. So when I was thinking about this and I was writing about it this morning, I was like, for me, there is nothing better than feeling how I feel, right? Like, how do I feel in this? If I'm doing a yoga, like asana, for example, well, how do I feel doing this pose? If I am doing some breath work, how do I feel like after that, does, has that made me feel like really uplifted? Has it energized me? Has it challenged me in some way? But I'm focusing inwards on what's going on for me. So if you ever get yourself into that place of comparing yourself, and I know it happens for so many of us, and if you know your inner fear freak and you have a, a dominant inner perfectionist, then most definitely this will be something that, that uh, is coming up for you. Find those ways to do something imperfectly. Find those ways to connect with yourself in the moment because that is genuinely what matters. What you are doing right now is, is what matters. How you're feeling right now is what matters. How you wanna feel and it is all about you. So it's quite interesting. Yeah, I just, I just really wanted to share this because I think while we wait for anything else to validate us or we're, we're holding up on an ideal that isn't even ours, like that's not really true for me. Like having a, a, a beautiful stomach is like cool, but right now that's not a priority for me. I'm much more concerned with other things. When that does become, or if that does become an like a true ideal for me, then that's fine, I could put my focus there, but it's not gonna be something that, that I use to beat myself up. And I want you to consider that as well. You know, are you using something right now like a, a like an ideal that isn't true for you that's just making you feel crap and ask yourself that and what can you do to kind of shift that what can you do imperfectly now okay so do let me know um what what comes up for you do come in and share either if you're in the the free group if you're in the superstar movement group come in and share there and i'll post the link because if you're not with us come in, you know come and join that group it's a very supportive space and you'll be able to recap on what i've been doing every day i've been sharing a five minute practice that you can do anywhere so that you can really connect with yourself and you can be your well-being warrior so I'll post the link and please come in and join us if you're not already. And for me, this sense of having the space and having the permission that you give yourself to totally be all of yourself, to embrace all of that and feel 
what is going on for you and what's true for you is one of the driving I guess one of the driving forces between between having a, a like a fake perfect practice um, and having a, like an, a beautiful imperfect practice and if this is something that you want to dive in more with on September the 8th which is a Saturday in Manchester I'm running a one-day retreat which is for sensitive women it's for female change makers it's for spiritual rebels it's for women who do things differently and who challenge the status quo and are here to really create like the change that, that they want to see in the world through their sensitivity through their creativity through their um their ability to be empathetic and to be um insightful so if that is if that's the kind of woman that you are i would heartily recommend that you come along we'll be talking a lot about how you use your imperfect practice to um to use your voice to get you know to open your heart to hear what you need to hear to really go out and take aligned action coming from a place of filling yourself up and being your well-being warrior so this is a day dedicated to definitely non-yoga bots um yoga bots it's all about you know finding that true that true ideal for you what is true for you and until the 31st of may so till the end of this month not much longer is left on the early bird ticket so if you want to take advantage i'm going to post the link for the early bird ticket and you can you can get it's like 35 percent off if you get your early bird ticket if you've got any questions at all about any of this please let me know and i'd love to hear from you about what your imperfect practice looks like what you've been holding yourself back with in terms of comparing yourself to others and any other ahas and questions you might have so sending you loads of love bye